for an adult audience. Love, love, love line may contain sexually oriented content. Listener mm-hmm. discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number one eight hundred L O V E one nine one. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. Lisa Durgan is here tonight from. Uh, well, let's see. Stuff Magazine. Stuff Magazine uh, named her uh, the sexiest sportscaster, Drew. You can yeah. see that. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, there is some competition these days. Yeah. There didn't, didn't used to be, yeah. but uh, there's a lot of, uh, lot of good-looking ladies in the, uh, in the world of sportscasting, and they're not just talking heads. Like, uh, they're actually into sports. Lisa was uh, talking her ear off about golf yeah. uh, oh, last you time. Oh, how can we forget? <laughs> she loves her goddamn golf, this Lisa. <laughs> She's a great golfer. Just ask her. And uh, I'm no good at golf, so I'm bitter. But uh, she yes, also sir. excluded you from your, her list of potential mates because of that. Because of my yeah. inability to yeah. play golf. Yeah, I've just... never had a boyfriend that wasn't at least out there with me all the time. Well, I'll go out there with you. Well, I don't want to play with you if you're not that good. Oh, he, mm. That's not the point. He's just going to sit there. He's going to drink yeah, beer. Be drink the red wine we were talking about. Hey, oh, golf okay. is great because the chick comes by in the golf cart, which is really just like a, a you know mini keg truck. Like she comes by with booze. Like what other sport does somebody with booze on wheels that come by and ask you, you know, make change and give you Pringles and give you <laughs> give you beer? It's awesome. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, where they drive up to, but if you're at a baseball game, they walk down the steps, but usually they're not a cute girl. Yeah, but you're yeah, not playing yeah, they, baseball, though. No. Yeah, you're not playing. This is, you're actually participating in a sport <laughs> if someone's point. giving you beer. Right. Well, that'll uh, get you out there. <clears throat> Lisa is uh, also part of the uh, Best Damn Sports Show, period, which uh, I think I did a couple of weeks back. I was going to say, yeah. But I, I didn't I see you. Well, I'm not on the set yeah, every single day. I'm right, a correspondent. You're doing correspondent so. work. But I didn't see it. I didn't see it piped in via the TV set or whatever. I, don't I know could if have been on, on the floor right above doing my anchoring, so I probably was in the building because I do remember you you stopping by. She is a uh, former uh, St. Polly girl, by the way, which is uh, I don't know. I have a very and true. Now be honest Visceral. with me. I have a very vi- no. I was going to say soft spot in my heart. For the hot chicks on the beer posters at the liquor store. Sure, I, I, that's I all you had when you were a uh, younger male. Yeah, no, I, Adam, it would, is. Adam would stare about it, stare and take note, and then go home. I worked. I worked at a liquor store when I was in high school, and and I would stare at those beer posters. And there was something. I, I don't think posters have the same uh, connection or lure they have with teenage boys as they did when we were growing up. But that's kind of what we had. And it didn't have to be, you know, uh, Fair Fawcett or Linda Carter or some, you know, something like that. Linda Carter. Well, she was in a Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman outfit Wonder Woman. once. <laughs> Don't you ever? Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> shh, Hold on. Shh, shh. Shh. <sighs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like a ninja. Yeah, <laughs> Linda Carter in the Wonder Woman outfit was hot. But okay, here's my point. Okay. I worked at the liquor store. I would see uh, the St. Polly girl of uh, your, of course, and there's like the. But that's why I refer to Maki- a visceral reaction because it's so much a part of your yeah. youth and memory. The Makita Oof. Tool girl was hot. It's hot, you know. And that, that's all you had. Yeah, that's what I also had. Yeah, you had that in the pool box. No, the, the raft. inflatable raft box. Yeah. Hot. I was in love with this chick that was on a raft box. Oh my gosh! Because in she the, was floating the day, on the raft. That's all bikini. young males had was for images of the hot. female was. I used to go to the Big Five in Studio City just to check out. I couldn't afford the raft. Oh, I didn't have a pool. Unbelievable. But I stare at the box. raft box. Well, St. Pauli made a six-foot cardboard cutout, so yeah. I should oh, have yeah. brought that in for you. <laughs> no, no, I got I He's got okay one. now. I got one. Yeah. I got one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to hinge the knees. <laughs> yeah. I just used shoe leather. Oh. I didn't actually put a hinge in it. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> You know what's great? Yeah, what's great? Also, another reason why I'm here is oh, the bench warmer right. trading card, yeah, that's which what I you can to talk carry about. in your pocket. That's what I need because I cannot travel with that six foot cardboard look cutout this, of yours. Adam, here, look. Yeah, they got bench warmer uh, trading cards. This is uh, Lisa holding a football and wearing a, uh, well, I call those panties, yes, Drew? Yeah. And, uh, little and a bra, hot pants. little hot pant panty things. Now, wait, are, is there gum in here? <laughs> why did you open it up? All right. Series three just is coming out now, this week. Is this? Uh, look, I got. I, I. I must admit, I. I never collected uh, baseball cards or trading cards or, or comic books or anything like that. Well, so you were I, just staring at the posters at the liquor store. Yeah, yeah. I, so I. N- I never got into this stuff. Is it big? Is it? Is it sweeping the nation? It's a phenomenon. It is. These, yeah. And where do you get these? 
everywhere. Spencer Gifts, Tower Records, any any place where you can buy trading cards has them. And, and do you go to... Uh, you can go to benchwarmer.com. Mm-hmm. And what's great is, mm-hmm. it's girls. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, we don't see a bunch of sweaty guys with uh, pork <laughs> chop sideburns <laughs> and, uh, you know, slugging percentage. You just got hot chicks in bikinis. And then you collect and you trade. Here's yeah. a piece of a bikini on this one, Adam. Oh, oh, there's an actual piece of a bikini on here. It's like a... Uh, this one may be scratch and sniff, Drew. Okay. I knew you were going I, there. Yep. Well, I mean, look and, at that. And the girl, what do you want? if you, you look at her do? picture, I think she's wearing... That bikini. Yep. She's wearing... And there's actually... <laughs> Hold on, but are we in prison? I got porn at home. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're on an island somewhere? I'll go home. I got tons of porn. What do I need this for? <laughs> Ooh, look, Drew. You get to touch Carry it. Carry it in your pocket. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. It's, it's to break the fortune roll in slowly. I see. So. I see. This is for the young man. This is for any man. Or woman. No, no, women are be Whatever women are be no women are gonna piss it off if they see it. <laughs> wow. Crazy uh crazy batch of ethnicities here too. Look at that. You got one of everything. Now wait, uh Kathleen Collins. So you're uh wait, did I find you? Is I this think, you? I think you got me right there. Yeah, okay, good. And when you get series three, I'm on uh-huh. the cover. Oh really? All right. Well give me those. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one. I like this one. Who's this chick? See the yeah, the Kathleen listeners, Collins. Nothing wrong with The listeners with her. can't see these, but they can go out and get them. They're so great they'll see looking. what you've got in your hand right now. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the uh, that's the uh, plan. Engineer if, Chris is eyeballing this no. stuff a little bit. You want to, some of this? They take some of these. Come on, throw him a bone. There you go. They take that. He lives at home. I know you think that's hot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are and there's some are rookie cards like uh, Sonia Vera over here. It's a rookie card. You've got it all in there. Yeah. All right. All right. And you can Something get these. Something for everyone. <clears throat> you can get them where? Anywhere. Tower Records, Spencer Gifts, Benchwarmer.com if you're lazy and you mm-hmm. just want to go right to the site. They don't have gum, though. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't they come with gum? Do you want it for the gum? Well, it's just one of those things. So like, I, you don't want the parsley, but you're mad if it's, it's not it's on the more, side of the it's, plate. It's also, what do you tell the person at the cashier, cash register? Yeah, now you're just buying pocket porn. Right. At this place, like, uh, in th- this case, be like, I want some gum. Uh, I guess there's some scantily clad chicks I got to Well, you can get buy too. a pack of gum right. when you're buying one of these. Well, all I'm saying, if you're doing trading cards, you gotta you got to <laughs> shove the gum in there. That's that's all I'm saying. We'll throw a pack in there for you. <laughs> all right, please. Please do. All right, Drew. That's enough. All right? Yep. You good? <laughs> all right, we're moving forward. Kelly? Yes. You're 17? Yes, I am. Hold on a second. I'm the first guy to think of putting gum in here. You got to put gum. It's like there's a some sort of federal mandate <laughs> that says you have to put gum in in trading card things. It, it, and by Not the anymore. way, that's in the old days. Uh, the cellophane. Uh, I would be angry if I bought this and didn't have gum in it. Because cellophane says gum. It, this says gum. This screams gum at me. The oh shouts gosh. from the highest mountain. Gum. You know what? If you want a trading card with a guy on it, you get the gum. If I you get so. the ones with the girls on it, we think that's enough. All right. so. You're probably right. But look, Engineer Chris, look at that. Now, you would think, you bet me a $1,000, $1, give me 10 to 1 odds that that had gum in it, right? All right. Yeah, are you okay? All right. Hands right here, too. <laughs> Hands, man. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, Kelly. Yes. You're 17? Yes, I am. What's up? Um, my boyfriend is in Hawaii, and he's not coming home until next Christmas. Mm-hmm. So that's like seven months away, and mm-hmm. I don't know. It's kind of like banging my head against a brick wall, I guess. Mm-hmm. I, I really don't know what to do. What's he doing in Hawaii? He's in the Marine Corps. When's he coming back? Um, Christmas. What's he for? Uh, how, how long, for good? Yeah. He's going to stay in Christmas? Oh uh, no, for... he's he signed up for five years, so he's been in for a year and a half. No, no. The Kelly, this doesn't sound like something you should... I just got, I got a note from producer Ann that next year's series will have gum in it uh. because people, well, have been outraged, quite frankly, <laughs> outraged. But I'll tell you what, what's going to end up happening is from now on, they're going to have gum in them. The ones that didn't have the gum collectors. will become collectors. So don't open them. Don't just open them. them. Well, you could even open them, but... But the point is, it won't have any of that white powder residue yeah, that yeah. comes off the gum, and that'll become a collector series. I know it sounds funky now, but this happens all the time. Records yeah. that have a deleted track on them or something later on, they become collectors Records. because what they don't have. You see what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. All right. You should know what a record is. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going back in the day. Oh, for Christ's sake. It's very funny. <laughs> what? Uh, 
I know what a record uh, is. No, but I'm, I'm saying records because I'm saying it was a collector. Stuff's yes. worth a lot today yes. because in, in the days of yore. It's just the reaction was classic. <laughs> records. <laughs> records. I'm just La giving you a hard time. Da. I know. What am I, 65 and you're 14? I'm <laughs> just giving you a hard time. No kidding. All right, where Let's are help we? her. Yeah, Adam is like, sensitive about his age these days. I'm really sensitive. He is sensitive. I'm sensitive. He is. Yeah. Very sensitive. We had, we had a 21-year-old in here, and uh, she wasn't interested in him, and it sent him a reeling. He said I was too old for her. Oh. Reeling. Yeah. And I'd explained to him that <laughs> she just meant she was healthy. It would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she were actually... It was at uh, Alicia Cuthbert. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hot stuff. Well, she's riding high now. Talk to her in a few years. She'll be begging for me. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly? Yes. So, Kelly, this sounds like a relationship that may not be meant to uh, meant for right now, anyway. The people your age, 17, 18, 19, tend to sort of try to cling to relationships because you feel like this is the one and only and there's never going to be anything like this again. But it's, it's sort of normal for people to split up and go on with their life and go to college and go into military training, whatever it might be. Mm. takes them apart. And, and if you get back together again in the future, that's fine. But you really got to get on with your life right now. I can't believe this son of a bitch is in Hawaii when everyone else is in Iraq. Well, he may end up, he's got five, four more years to go. I hope he goes there. What's he doing in Hawaii? Um, he's, um, I can't remember the name, uh, meteorological equipment technician. Hmm. So. Oh, they got some sort of base over there. It's so interesting. Each of us, you know, we here as a Marine, we got the gun on the front lines. And no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It's like the landing gear on a Navy jet. That's what that's, I, mean. I I know. Every everybody works for an airline. I figure flies the plane. Right. Really, like right. less than one percent of them actually even see the plane. Right. Yeah, that's that's. But I know oh, you fly planes. Well, it's funny because you're missing an arm and you're blind. You work on the plane. You're uh, morbidly obese. You're in a, you can find a wheelchair. Yeah, I I attract baggage. So you're not flying the plane anymore. <laughs> uh, I never did fly the plane. Oh, you gave up flying the plane. Yeah, I can't. It just yeah. we go right to the exciting part. I mean, yeah, that's a good or, thing. Or, or what our brain sort of what takes brain, us to. Yeah. Well, we, we just don't have room in there to pull out all the nuances of every job. Yeah, the support teams. All right, Kelly. Just I think it may be time. All right, all right. get on with your life, Molly. Yep, Molly. Hello. You're 16. Yeah. What's up? Um, I have been going to a therapist, like, for maybe five months now, kind of, like, on and off. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, I can't open up to her, and I don't really, like, open up to my friends or anything, like, How come? about anything. How come? Um, I don't know. All what, right. What kind of stuff you got in there that needs to be brought out? Oh, I just have never been able to do it. But what what is it what you we, need to yeah, bring up? What do you need to know? You're 16. You ha maybe you don't have anything in you. Well, okay, like, whenever I get depressed a lot, or, like, I, it's, like, hard for me to tell any of my friends, like, anything. Uh, are, well, first off, is there anything deep and dark we need to know about? Um, ever, like, like, molested what? or physically abused? You ever get a cellophane packet with cards in it and no gum? <laughs> Were you ever, ever traumatized uh, that way? No. No. Mm -hmm. So you're just a 16-year-old who has his, her good days and her bad days? Yeah, but it's, like, all the time. And, like, I think more than, like, or, like, all the time during the day, everything I do, I always regret it. All right. You're depressed. I would just go okay, talk to yeah, you. yeah, and so... Uh, all right. Hold on. I'm, I'm not deeming this a call. I, f I feel bad... Her, but yeah, join the party. Every sixteen-year-old in the world <laughs> right. thinks she's fat and doesn't like her friends and doesn't feel like she can uh, open up to anybody. Uh, Molly's depressed, like eh, half the nation is. Uh, here's what you got to do: Let's start talking to your friends. There you go. You don't open up to them. You don't want to open up to them. Too bad. To, go ahead and do it. That's what they're there for. Yep. And by the way, everyone, just sort of kickstart yourself a little bit. She's going to therapy. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Holly? Yeah? You're 17? Yes, I am 17. What's up? Um, well, um, I slept with my best friend about a month ago. Yeah, a female, and, uh, it says. You're a lesbian. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm bisexual. Bisexual? Yeah. Well, sorry, your highness. Well, it's okay. I love you. Drew, you're way off. I didn't... <laughs> oh. I heard you say lesbian. Okay. You're a lesbian. You're Mormon? <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> Mormon, Mormon lesbian. All right, go ahead, way. Holly. All right, so you slept with your friend. Yeah. Your best friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So, like, um, now she's, like, freaked out because somebody found out about it, and now, like, she's telling everybody I raped her and all kinds of crap. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that might have made her think you raped her? Or? Oh, the no, roofies pretty, and the I know her pretty <laughs> well, and I know it's pretty much oh, because she naughty. doesn't want anybody to know that she's, like, a bisexual. Mm -hmm. So she's just afraid to admit it, so she decides well, to go. You know, how did this all go down, yeah. so to speak? How did it happen? Well, we've like we slept with each other at least five times before she decided to go tell everybody this. Ah, uh, uh, does she initiate these things? She's the one who initiated it in the first place. Yeah, she sounds pretty chaotic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ho Holly sounds like a sack also, of trouble also. herself. Put the two yeah. together. I am not trouble. Where's your loser dad? What did he do to you before he left? That's always the question. Yes. That's mean. Where well, is he? What happened? Where is he? He's upstairs. Aha! Uh -huh. mm. He's in heaven. No, actually, hmm? his bedroom. <laughs> his bedroom in heaven. No. Oh, okay. My he lives. He he lives with you. Yeah. What's he do? Muffler shop. Um, my mom and my dad run a preschool daycare in my yeah. house. Uh, in your house. In your house. Yeah. Did they do anything weird to you? No. That's got to be weird. <laughs> no. Kids. Rats running no, around the carpet everywhere. Hmm. You no know, physical abuse, huh? Hold on. How come I? How come? How come I don't trust anyone who opens a daycare center? <laughs> what is that? I know. Why shouldn't? Why we should like these people? I, I think right? we're so used to hearing about all the horror stories. Yeah. No, yeah. It, it just it feels like a, it, it feels it, like an abnormal it, impulse, like a strange do it in your house. It there's feels intrusive. There's something wrong with it. Yeah, it's yeah. weird and intrusive because it's in your house. Yeah. It's 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 sort of it's it's it's, it's crazy ambitious and super lazy at the same time. <laughs> like right. on one hand. You're going to have, what, 27 uh, four-year-olds running around in your house all day? That's crazy. The other part is, how lazy are you that you can't get dressed and go get your own job? Right. I, I just, I, I don't trust and, it. And it's such a personal thing to bring children into your own yeah. home. It, it seems a weird boundary issue. Yeah. I'll, it, you know what it what falls, happens you know when what it somebody is? doesn't pick up their kid? <laughs> you right. want to sit down and have a glass of wine. Yeah. 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 And, uh... Maybe a little sleeping pill, too. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try some ambient, me and Lisa, in the parking lot after the show. Oh, that'll be pretty. That'll be a first for everything. We'll go yeah. sleep on the parking lot. And well, I may have to crash at your place. I don't think so. Well, when I say crash, I mean actually drive my car <laughs> into the side of your house. I, mean, I literally mean <laughs> That's crash. That's what's going to happen. That's what I mean when I say crash at your path. <laughs> Sometimes it's confusing when people don't yeah, know after what after the what the hell are you going to do? I may have to crash at your pad, and I'm actually parking my car in the living room. All right, uh, Molly, um, Molly, something's screwy with Molly. Molly? Uh, my name's Holly. I, I mean, Holly, what's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? Something seems up. How'd you become bisexual? How what happened bisexual? to you? Well, I've been bisexual. I've actually mm -hmm. been attracted to girls since... Mm. Are, you le are you lesbian or just not... Are you lesbian? No, I'm bisexual. I'm surprised you guys are quizzing her on it. Isn't that mm. ever guy's dream? Nah. Yeah, but well, this, yeah, yeah, but it doesn't really happen without a lot of stuff going yeah. on. Mm. It's not on this show. When did you lose your virginity? Um, like this year. Really? Yeah. When's the first time you're with a? Know the day. <laughs> when was the first time you were with a girl? The first time I was with a girl. About of five any time. You were twelve. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. we're talking here. Mm -hmm. And who was the girl? Her. And how old was she? Same girl. Well, she's same age, right? We haven't established yep. that. She's All right. 17. All right. So are you, you think you're in love with this girl? Oh. Oh, I was. You were. May, this I girl was. may be an abuse survivor, mm -hmm. and maybe she acted out on, mm -hmm. on Holly. Was, um, you were in love with her. So you're calling her your friend, but you're really falling in love with her. I've been in love with her for a long time. She just doesn't know about it. Since mm. you're a lesbian, oh. you're not you're not. Yeah, uh, that's bisexual. a lesbian. No, I like men, though. All right. I'm well, that's just men also. All right. Well, look. Here's my uh, here's my plan for you. This chick's chaotic. This is just going to be drama. She, she, I guarantee you, she's a, the 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 girlfriend's a sexual abuse survivor. Yeah. Acting on when she's twelve. All yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking they're they're about all 12. that stuff at twelve. No. Well, no. You weren't. No. What were you thinking about? Well. Golf. Golf. Golf is twelve. Was when I started. Yeah. So you're thinking about golf. I was thinking about golf. All right. And my lessons twice a week. That's what I was worried about. Golf lessons? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to kick my dad right in the nuts. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to borrow your sand wedge <laughs> and just uh, tee off right on a sack. <laughs> golf lessons. Can you imagine lessons? 
I'll do that for my kids. You got them golf lessons. What yeah, about they you? Like, they had like a golf camp. They went to golf camp? Yeah. Oh, that's the hell's so wrong? You're going to turn those kids into, into like uh, wasps. <laughs> They'd be the Aryan they youth. <laughs> well, because they want to they wanna be, they want to go to Mars, too. Mm. They don't get to go. <laughs> it's like a week long. Oh, camp. true as kids. They go to the Disneyland Hotel for like a month. It's like Michael Jackson. They take <laughs> up a whole floor. It's the entourage. <laughs> Come on, this kid, you're gonna ruin those kids, Drew. Yeah, right. They're gonna lose their eye. They need their edge. Yeah, you're right. They're gonna be hungry. Yeah, you're right. You gotta be hungry. You're right, Drew. What's the most important thing for someone to be? Gotta be hungry. I just say hungry. Oh, okay, hungry. Just say. I your what's the most important for uh, thing for something to be? Oh, yeah, just say hungry when I point. You ready? Yeah, and what's the most <laughs> important quality a man can have? No, say hunger. A man can have hunger. Yeah, but hunger. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, now get a hand in and break it down. Let's go. Let's go, Lisa. Get a hand in. We're going to break it down now. got to be hungry now. Don't sit on your helmets. Helmet's not a chair, gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Laura? Laura? Yes? You're 18? Yes, I am. What's happening? Well, um, I've been seeing this guy for about three months, and... He can't come when we're having sex. Mm -hmm. And it's been on three occasions, I think, that he has been able to come, but um, he doesn't. And I actually, I've questioned it before, and he's let me know that he has to fake his orgasms with most of his lovers, mm -hmm. which, you know, it kind of, it gets me a little bit insecure, I guess, but I don't know if it's me or I don't know what to deal well, obviously with. It, obviously, it's not you if he has to fake with other people, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey. He was forthcoming to tell her that, though, because most um, guys would be embarrassed. We're really good friends. I mean, I've only known this guy for three months, and we've become really close friends. And yeah. he says I'm the first girl that he's opened up um, about, you know, his problem, I guess. Smart. Yeah. He Smart. doesn't think it's a problem. He doesn't think it's a problem. Is he on medication? Yeah. Tell that to his balls, by the way, who are uh, mad as hell. <laughs> not going to take it anymore. Is he on actually medication? We were talking about this last night, and he <laughs> said, it's just, I can go for a really long time. And I said... Is it that you can go for a really long time, or can you even go at all? Ooh. Is he on medication? I uh, know he's not. Mm hmm. And uh, are there other not. other okay. ooh. Ooh. other means he can uh, achieve this by other than intercourse? Um. No. I. I mean. Good question. He's the first time I had him oral oral sex. Um. Mm -hmm. He actually told me, you know, the only way I can get off is with sex. The oral doesn't get me off. Uh, and oh, I was no. like, what? I couldn't hang. <laughs> we got nothing to yeah, talk I've, about me and this character. Nothing. I've never heard that one. Um, He's dead to me. I haven't heard that either. And, and, you're not gonna. And I feel that I work it pretty <laughs> well. I mean, you're just not. Well. You know? And it's a price. No one's gonna say that. When he says this is the time we're having sex, it's a, it's a, it's yeah. an orgasm for him, but he can't yeah. go. He can't go. He can't come. All well, right. there are some there are some guys that are wired that way. That's just the way it is. There are, and, and he and, needs to kind of pay attention and figure it out a little bit. He needs to. Put a hand in. He's in denial? Let's go. He's got <laughs> to break, break it down. He's got to get a hand in. <laughs> that helmet's not a chair, gentlemen. <laughs> and when I say gentlemen, I use that term loosely. <laughs> okay, ladies, come on now. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Um, we actually, all right, all right. It's not, about, Laura, it's not quiet, about you. Quiet come down. On. Quiet okay. down. Relax. Now, how old uh, is he? He is 19. He's 19. Mm -hmm. So let me say this. And Drew, mm -hmm. who's a man of exquisite passion... Ladies should know that about Drew. I don't, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on the air, but he's a man who's bursting at the seams with passion. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. It caught, caught Lisa's attention now. Now <laughs> she's listening. Uh, a, a, Drew, uh, a man of Drew's exquisite passion could not understand something like this. No. Um, I, who do not have the same passion level that yes. Drew has right. for, for anything, really, quite honestly. Except ambient and red wine. I like red wine, yeah. I like my pills. I'll be crashing yeah. into your place <laughs> later tonight, night, Lisa. But except for that. Okay. The engine is barely on. Except for that. Right. Yeah. Right. Understand that, uh, you know, man can go... A guy at 19, especially if he's a little bit of a squirrely or a little bit late bloomer, may not have it worked out just yet. Yeah, yeah. He can, he can, yeah. Get, he can hit his well, rhythm. that's the point. He's and that's what he's got to do. He's yeah. got to work it in and he, work he, it out. He's, the fact that he's even making it an issue for Laura is like, hey, hey, come on. Yeah. You get your act together. <laughs> yeah. Laura, here's what you need to do. I, I'm telling you this is going to help. You need to figure out if he beats off, and if he does, what position is he in when he beats off, because that's going to be his prime position. There you go. Lisa's nodding feverishly. <laughs>
She's a, also a woman of extreme passion. <laughs> you two could have passionate kids. Passionate <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. Find that out. Tell him to get on it. And don't make it a, such a big issue about he's not doing this. I can't do that for him. Just enjoy your, your relax. Enjoy your intimacy. Not about Laura See, at all. Not about you. Not your prom. Have have your intimacy, have your relationship, and see where it goes. Go. And by the way, use protection because he will figure it out, and you'll get pregnant first time around. Yeah, thank you. There you go. She's calling from Van Nuys. That means. Uh, by the way, morning after pill shot down for over the counter. All right, all right. Oh we're, my we're, god, we're taking oh a break. We're taking a break. Well, when we come back, I'm coming back with an ass full of steam for all this because right. right. I do have passion for this. Yeah, I know. Me too. All right, Lisa Durgan is here tonight. She's got the, the bench warmer uh, trading cards. No gum, everybody. But if you get these early ones, they're going to be collector's editions because the new ones will, will have the gum. You see? Gotta All right. Get on it. Take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Lisa Durgan is here tonight. She's uh, a uh, sportscaster on uh, Fox Sports West. Net. Oh, net. Uh, didn't I screw that up last time? <laughs> well, everybody always does that. They say Fox Sports Net, well, Fox can, Sports West, can, Fox Sports 2. I'll just I mean, say Fox Sports. You, you can find her on Best Damn uh, Sports Show, uh, period. Yeah. Have you both been on? I did Tom's uh, wedding. You did Tom? I, no, no, I didn't do Tom. I did, <laughs> I did his uh, Tom wedding Arnold. roast, his uh, bachelor party thing. Right. Yeah. That was the only time I did that show. Uh, I've been on oh, that's great. maybe three times. The show's been going good and going strong. Going and I remember strong. when it, it... I would love to that show, actually. I think it'd be fun just to sit around. I don't have... What do they talk about? Uh, with with one somebody like us. Politics. But what I mean, with somebody like us, about? Somebody, what do they talk with me about? You know what I mean? I don't know but what they talk so about. But that's so great. Everybody use, that comes on our show, it's not just... You know, sports. Yeah. It's entertainment. It's. I happen to know a fair amount about sports. I know, I know. Thank you. But we don't even care if you do. We'll you find know, something. I did something for yeah. them. You did it too, some sort of 50th anniversary thing or some. I can't remember what, the, what it was, but they asked lots of questions about sports things you remember. Hmm. Oh, a, yeah, that was for another show, I think. But it was at Fox, right? Yeah. I did that and I realized I don't know anything other than what happened between about 1972 and 1980. Now, why well, is that? Because he's an idiot. Those are my sports. Fan years or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's like I, I've, I knew a ton about that interval, and then I know a little bit about the last four years. Well, Drew's a, a man of passion uh, and a doctor, so he was spending a lot of time uh, focusing on uh, his doctoring. My passion. Well, he'll get pursuits. into it a lot pursuits. more again because of his kids. That's yes, exactly kids right. will get him that's into exact, it. That's exactly why I'm back into it. That's right. Yeah. But then he sends him off to the camp, so Th he's not. No, the <laughs> golf is not for me. Golfing is not for me. Okay. Well, Period. now you guys can't hang. So that makes two of us. <laughs> I'll still be crashing at your pen, in your pen. Uh, you can go to www.benchwarmer.com, and I think get a free uh, set of these cards, or so I hear. Uh, we got stuff to talk about, Drew. One is the uh, May birthdays uh, list that was uh, posted uh, all over the station. It's nice. And by the way, this uh, it's one of these things that didn't exist. I don't know if it exists in other fields. Before I got into television and before I got into radio, uh, no one gave a rat's ass about your birthday. As a matter of fact, it was sort of, eh, it was a pain in the ass right. when it was your birthday. because the office like, What do you do? We got to get him something? Yeah, what yeah. are we going to do? Uh, my birthday's in this uh, this month, by the way. And yet I see 29 names there. Right. Yours must be at the top. Now, my birthday's on May 27th. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see my name there under the 27th of May? No. No? What name Happy is that? Birthday. My young Jew, Yoon. Yeah, there's a crazy Korean person that's, uh, or maybe Chinese. What the? What would that be? Korean. There you go, Korean. Yeah. There's a crazy Korean woman who's getting married, has uh, the uh, temerity to be born on the same day as I, who also works at uh, this uh, radio station. But there's really, it, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big laminated thing. It says May birthday. It's got a picture of uh, cards and candles and cakes and presents. There's uh, 25 names on it. And uh, this man didn't make the cut this year. There you go. What are you going to uh, do? I got, You're a uh, pretty popular guy. Uh, you know? June, yeah, I'm sure Yoon over Kimmel, they, they put you up. Stick your name up. As a matter of fact, uh, i got to look into that. 
All right. Uh, Lisa Durgan here. What else, Drew? Oh, you were going to complain about... Uh, morning I, after pill. I, I, I re- I've been looking at this for, for a week. The only reason I brought it in is because I just I like the uh, crazy novelty name that's uh, <laughs> where my name should be. <laughs> M-Y-U-N-G-J-O-O-N. That's... Uh, that's good times. Yeah, that's where the round eye should have been, right there. <laughs> All right. So the uh, the uh, director of the FDA decided on his own to disregard the uh, unanimous uh, Clinical. direction of his advisors, which was to put the morning after pill over the counter, which is this pill, just the birth control pill, but you take after intercourse instead of before. Mm-hmm. And it works by preventing ovulation, just the way the pill works normally. Yeah. Right. But because it's after intercourse, people have this sort of magical belief that it must be an abortion pill, which it is not. Right. In fact, it could eliminate abortion in this country. Right. And it, in, throughout the world, somewhere around 40 to 60 million users, prescribed prescriptions have been issued, not a single adverse event in the history of its use. Well, that means they're due. That means they're due. You can't say you that about aspirin. Saying? I see what you're saying. About aspirin, due Tylenol, to anything else. It is the, one of the safest products out there. And so now they're taking it off. Well, it was supposed to go over the counter in the United States, like other civilized countries. Right. And essentially because of political issues, it was uh, yeah. shelved for a while, so to speak. Well, you know, Bush, he's a very uh, he's a strong faith man, and he talks to God a lot. And uh, I'm sure... I, he should talk directly to God about this one. Uh, yeah, because God will say, "Hey, get your act together." Well, uh, uh, come on. Hey, here's the thing. I don't. I don't want the FDA making moral judgment calls. You pinheads just decide if something's safe or not, and then if it is, put it. Let us decide whether it's morally okay for us to ingest it or not. Uh, if it's morally safe, I mean, if it's, Wait, if, it's, if, it's if, if it's egregious, if it's a, if it, if it compels people to immorally egregious action. I'm all for keeping it off the shelves. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, one I'm could, all for it. One could argue then that wouldn't be safe. I mean, right, if it, if it right. got people to kill, then right. even though it was safe for you, it might not be safe for your neighbor. Right. But th- this, I mean, have we, can we get to the bottom of this, you know, condoms ma- uh, or birth control? I mean, here's what I'm saying. We are under the impression in this country that if you... Uh, educate kids about uh, sexuality, that's going to get them to go out and have sex. By the way, only topic that we apply that logic to. If we if to talk to drugs, drugs, you we start talking, you, you got to talk talking when they're four. Talk but to with them. sex, if you talk, talk to them, them. they're, they're going to want to do it. Like, what? Uh, I know. Wait, and, uh, which is it? This, right and this that's is, a good point. Why just sex? It's the only human behavior that if you talk about, you make people do? Go, girl! Oh, I'm so upset about <laughs> I, this. I am, I am too, and it, it, these pussy, Bible-thumping, right-wing Republicans, really. And then, look, I, I don't like the Democrats any better, but they, they, they screw this one up completely Everybody every on the time. outside. The, 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 the ends of the bell curve, all you extremists on either side of the aisle, please go away. Yourselves. Go away. Please kill yourself. Let's arrest so we can let you out. The but out. the far right know, and the far left should, should get a go you, away. Can't you guys just eat a goddamn let, bullet? Let the rest and of us, your effing let God, the rest of us work this life out a little bit. Please, uh, yes. There's 99% of us would like to, we're, we're right thinking, rational human beings who can make decisions, who don't subscribe to your bizarre voodoo religions. And, and by the way, are we about ideologies? Or about helping people. Which is it? Right. Decide. And be honest. Which is it? If it's ideology, great. Fine. Defend your GD ideology. Why is it such a taboo thing? Though? Well, here's what it is. It, the people that say they want that they're against abortion really aren't against abortion, per se, as much as they're against people having sex without consequences. They don't think that's morally right. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got to say that uh, I do believe nature will uh, step in eventually. I mean, uh, you know, when you start getting uh, the uh, line of guys 40, 40 deep in front of the glory hole at the... <laughs> At the uh, bathhouse, eventually something like AIDS comes uh, into the mix. Uh, nature's nature's like interesting that is. way. Yeah, it has a, has a way uh, has a way of sort of limiting activity that gets uh, too far out there. That's I just my personal that. sort of uh, atheist belief. Uh, but these guys don't like the idea that a 15 year old girl can have sex and not have consequences. So they they focus on the abortion issue, but it's really the part about people getting laid. 
and them not being able to control it. And it all, most of it stems from them not getting laid in their high school days. And they say they're against abortion. Then someone comes out with a set of safe pills. Hey, everybody. Hey, great news, all you uh, anti-abortion uh, people. Great news. I got this pill. It's going to cut way, da way down on abortions. Oh, uh, we're not. No, uh, so, no, that's no we're, we're voting against that. Yeah, we don't want that. No. You don't want that, but I thought you were against. No, Which no. is it? Which is it? Yeah, and people that are barking it, about hypocrites. it have too much free time. Oh, well, that's that goes well. Here's what you can do with free time. Saying. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. These things, oh, keep get, people no, from... I'm too fired up. Forget no. about those cards. That's nonsense, Drew. We're talking about life or death over here. I'm just saying that. Possibly so bummed. <laughs> I'm tossed. I'm crashing. <laughs> At her pad. That's Crash right. my bone into her pad later on in the evening, Drew. <laughs> Lisa Durgan here, everybody. Fox Sports Net. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. Bench warmer uh, trading cards. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying, listen, you, you FDA, just have something safe. Let, let, let people hey, they get did. Their hands One on guy it. said, I'm oh, sorry. Decided on my own. And, and Drew, that is such a valid point. We've talked about it before. The idea that all we do is sit around and talk to your kids about it, talk to them about drugs, educate your kids. Talk about cigarettes, secondhand smoke, cigarettes. Tell them about cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. Tell them about drugs, tell them about cigarettes, tell them about drugs, tell them about cigarettes. What about sex? No. Oh. Don't. They're, they'll start uh, having it. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Is there any other behavior no, that you can refer that no, to? That logic it, is totally no. flawed. And, now, and, there, and, here's the reality. The uh, reality is you can traumatize a kid by giving them too much information about sex before they're ready. So, please, by all means... Be sensitive to what the kid needs and what they're questioning, what they, you know, what they can handle. Yeah, but but don't don't assume that by discussing it you're going to encourage it. I know. Well, a lot of people wouldn't know how to begin to discuss it with a three-year-old, five-year-old. There's, there's a million books. You out do there that thing with your finger <laughs> where you make, the, you make the circle with your one okay, hand sorry. and you poke your index finger through the other one. Yeah. Oh, I well, my kids tonight they uh, had to learn the anatomy of the penis and the vagina. Where? For their science class. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Yeah. What great? And for the first time, my daughter didn't, wouldn't do it. She's usually Good like, girl. Hey, let's go. Like, now the boys were totally cracking up. And what grade is this? Fifth grade. But they called the Pepe Ooh. and the Hoo-Ha, right? Now they're getting the vast deference, the prostate. They the called the penis and the vagina? And they went, yeah, yeah, all, 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 the, all the parts. Vagina. Wow. Vulva, labia. All stuff. What, what was the second one? <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the penis? The they, they were, uh, yeah, it's like, whatever. They were like, fine. Whatever. Oh, man. Usually, eggs go. You learned yeah. something new tonight? Ooh. Look, but I, I mean, like, like we got into this controversy ten years ago with the condoms. Like, oh, if the kids get hold of a condom, it's going to make them go out. No, no, and it's the same with birth control, and it's the same with the morning after pill. Please, all you uh, hypocrite, a hole, right wingers, you want to stop abortion? Here, this can put a dent in it. Obviously, Huge you're dent not. In it potentially. Obviously, you're not interested in it. You're more interested in preaching. All right, just admit that. Don't say there's you're so a lot of that abortion. in this country. There's a lot of just people. Preach. People get involved in ideas of humans right. rather than the facts of oh, humans. Just you know put saying? a bullet in your head, you tards, and let us. <laughs> and 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 I and I agree with Drew on the far left, the far right, the far extremes, yeah. whoever you are. Just eat a goddamn bullet so we could so sensible people could get on with their lives without you guys effing everything up. Jesus Christ! It's like it's 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 like you're you're if you're right thinking, sensible, rational atheist, you're punished by all the tards you're surrounded by in this goddamn society. Here, here. It's like, oh, do, should we be punished for just being sort of level-headed, sensible, rational about the topics? I don't have any kids. I don't have any vested interest in this goddamn pill. I just, as a level-headed, intelligent person, I can see that this would make would make a difference. Why do we have to mean. be punished by the 1% mean. of the idiots? The, we'll be right back. The, the, oh, the just eudaimonistic said, form just of Just eat life. a bullet. Would you Take guys kill yourselves? Go see your Take God. Put a bullet in your head and go meet your goddamn maker. And leave us alone. Please. You got a God. It's paved. The streets are paved with gold. Put a bullet in your head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You retards. Yeah. They know he don't exist. You know he ain't there. That's why you ain't going to do it. Mm, you know it. You know We're going to take any calls this Who segment. Who cares? You're scared morning after pill call. All, All right. right. We're taking a break. Don't worry. I'll tell you when the guest is scared. <laughs> She'll be scared later when I crash into her house. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. We'll be back. <clears throat> hey, everybody. I apologize for Lisa Durgan's outburst last break. She's <laughs> obviously passionate about this morning after pill and the FDA. Oh. You, you go to www.benchwarmer.com, by the way. You get uh, you get a nice uh, 
Nice. Uh, well, you get the bench warmer cards here. We'll, we'll give you a free pack, yes? Yes. And you mm-hmm. get the collector pack, which is the one uh, minus the gum. Minus the gum. That's right. All right, let's get to the phone, Shrew. Good, Adam. Come on, buddy. Break it down. <clears throat> Jenny. Jenny, you're 20. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm about six weeks pregnant, and I did take the morning after pill within, I think it was less than 24 hours that I took it. And um, I'm not 100%. Sick. It's not 100%. So how, how does it work, and what are what are the effects of it? I mean, how, do, how does it guarantee it, it, I guess? It doesn't guarantee anything. Uh-huh. It works by suppressing an egg from being released from your ovary. If the egg had already been released, you're going to get pregnant. Very okay. simple. Now then, my next question is, what are the effects on the baby if I decide to Zero. have the baby? Zero. Absolutely nothing. Okay. My other question but they is... Don't expect great things anyway, though. I mean, I... Oh. Well, no, I'm just saying you don't want to... You're you, playing the odds? Well, I'm playing the odds. I'm also saying that, it, you know, going with the low... Act, Expectations. The kid graduates from surprised. college. It's a nice, pleasant there surprise. Okay. I have well, a question for her before yeah. she goes to the next one. What, what were the effects of taking it? Because even just the pill makes me nauseous. I couldn't imagine the morning after pill. That's got to be like a big horse pill or something. I don't know. No, it isn't. It actually, has, Rect- it, take the, it rectally. So. The uh, <laughs> plan, plan B oh, yeah. uh, has progesterone. It doesn't have estrogen, so it doesn't make you sick at all. Not typically. Yeah. But you, you take like the, three, right? The Preven can make you sick, which has estrogen. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jenny? Yes? Is the, is the dad around? Yeah, kind of. Oh, Uh-oh. boy. Kind of. No, he doesn't. No, he's not happy about it. Ugh. All right. But I did have another question, though. How about adoption? No, I wouldn't consider adoption. All yeah, right. How dare you, Adam? Yeah. Rather screw the kid <laughs> up yourself. Yeah. What's your other question? Okay. Um, what about the abortion pill? I think it's the are you... 46. Sure that's exactly a totally different thing. That is an abortion pill. Well, no, I, and I'm asking if I decide to do that. My doctor told me I had until the 18th to, to still do that. Right. But what are the risks with that? And um, I heard that it's also still not 100% that you might still have to go in for the procedure. That's true. Well, but it's fairly any- effective. It's fairly effective. And uh, bleeding is the most significant com- complication. You know the thing? I, I know I'm the uh, 200th person to bring this up uh, today, but I, I find it incredible that the RU486 is, uh, to me, you know, 86 means you're out of there. <laughs> uh, we'd always say in, in construction, a guy got fired, he get 86. I don't know where 86 comes from, but 86 is a fairly well-known, uh, meaning uh, you're gone. It was a food term when I was a waitress. 86? Yeah, means 86 what, the mustard, yeah. Oh, get, get rid, rid of the of mustard. Get yeah. Rid of, yeah, 86 doesn't even just mean, like, you're fired or you have to leave. It means it's gone. <laughs> and the idea of this thing calling RU486 being an abortion pill just sounds like, like, that sounds like an abortion clinic's doctor's, uh, you know, vanity Comedy. play. Yeah. It's right. like, it's really, like, I, I don't know. As long as you're just picking random things and stuff, doesn't anyone want to pipe up and go, uh, let's just make it RP. It, it was a French. Well, get, it was a French product. Though. All right, let, 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 let's that. let's make it three. Let's get rid of four. It'd be et vu four six. Et vu, yeah. That that's the same when you were uh, waitressing, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Eighty. Where'd you waitress? San Diego. Really? Nice. I was really good at it too. Oh really? Why? I would stack everything up my arm. Oh really? Do that thing with the plate where you hold three plates. More than three. Oh, more than three? Yeah. That's a lot because you can you only do it on, you do the one over the hand and then one in the middle and then one as it gets to the crease of the <laughs> elbow, right? Well, they are smaller plates. Oh, I, I think see. everyone should be... In food service? In the, yeah, at one point in their high school or college years. Yeah. Because, man... It's tough? You just had to deal with a lot of different types of people. Yeah, yeah. well, you had a bunch of guys trying to pick you up all the time, Well, right? the tips were good, yeah. The tips were good. But then you had people who were putting a pain in the ass and yelling at you. And yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Not and really. Everyone no, should have to be a doctor, good. too, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> really deal with people. A lot of people I'm not, sure, though. I'm not sure how the patients would feel about that. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's keep uh, a rocking here and talk to uh, Levi. Yeah. You're 20? Yeah, that's right. What's up? Um, actually, I had a question for Drew. Um, me and my girlfriend had uh, actually had sex in the hot tub on Friday night, and I was just wondering what kind of uh, what kind of health things were involved with that, any kind of risks. Pregnancy. Pregnancy, yeah, but yeah, uh, she's on birth it. control, and uh, nothing nothing went inside. She's fine. So. Sometimes well, you get a little diatomaceous earth up sometimes there. Sometimes women can get <laughs> a vaginitis from yeah. that, but that's really a. Okay. And there there are, there are certain fungus, skin infections, and things, but that's anybody in a hot tub. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Right. Well, thank you. All right. Good There's times. A bacteria, pseudomonas. The, the, uh, the real problem is uh, the poor 
sap that's got to climb in there the next day <laughs> with your nice uh, jizz slick floating around in there. Honey, what happened? I don't know. Must a uh, seagull must have crapped in here? That is just yeah. a, an image that will stay with me. And, and let me let me tell you something about uh, semen in the hot tub. Please it, tell us. I've <laughs> yeah, not heard I'm enough. Sure, yet. you know. I've not heard enough. Well, it's like it's like a it's like a, a sea mine in that in that it's it's magnetized. I mean, when, a, when a freighter starts steaming by, it starts moving toward whatever's in the water. It doesn't just randomly bob around like a like a rubber ducky. It will find you. So, yeah, it's like a parasite. It's like a tick. You know what I mean? It's it it feels your heat and starts coming after you. So you go into that you go into that body water. It, it will come find you. And it, if you got a little hair on I your body, I say with too, your not, uh, with your uh, Sherwood Forest, it's there. not it's oh. not it's not going to come oh. out. It's oh. in there. it's still Hot. God knows what I got yeah. on me. God knows. God knows yeah. the tubs I've been in, the action I've seen. A guy could be wearing the semen of a thousand men around my waist. <laughs> Maybe more. Maybe more. All right. Lisa Durgan here tonight. I'll be crashing into her path <laughs> later on tonight after we uh, after we do our ambient and we're going to do some Jägermeister out in the parking lot. <laughs> All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number one eight hundred L O V E one nine one. Lisa Durgan is uh, here tonight. She's. Uh, Stuff Magazine's sexiest sportscaster. You can also find her on uh, the Best Damn Sports Show, period. And uh, you can find her on these uh, cards. It's really, it's a sweep in the nation, by the way, these uh, bench warmer trading cards, Drew. Surprise your kids aren't into these things yet. Well, they will be. I just saw what Chris was doing with them. Yeah. Yeah. Chris has a stack over there. Yeah. But they're not stacked. They're sort of arranged in a very frightening little uh, special arrangement. Yeah. Remember those uh, bad uh, detective movies from the 70s when they would finally break into the guy's one-bedroom apartment <laughs> yes, and they have pictures, pictures of the girl yes, cut out? Yes. The eyes were always were always cut out yeah, or darkened or in something or weird, something. something weird. Yeah, Chris going to do something real weird to those cars. That yeah. scares Most me. He's going to make a very, out. yeah, he's going to make a very, he's going to make a collage. With a spin arts. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Except for, no, he's going to, he's going to make a, a, a very ghoulish collage out of those <laughs> things. But, uh. He'll not be using paste to stick them to the construction oh, paper. Stop. He'll be using crazy glue. Good I, I like the spin art. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> spin art, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then you look at it with a black light. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's Wait hard. a minute. This, is, <laughs> this, this, this will sweep the nation. This now. is going to sweep the nation. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, for those, do they still have spin art? Of course not. you got to explain what it is. Spin art <laughs> is, uh, now again... The Corollas <laughs> never went in for this Don't stuff because it would have been a dollar, dollar fifty at the time. For that nothing. was crazy expensive. Yeah, you take essentially take <laughs> a potter's wheel. This is a. Do I have to explain what a potter's it's wheel a, it's is? It spins real fast. You know what a potter's wheel yeah. is? Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, something you make ashtrays out of clay on. You uh, take that. <laughs> you uh, you take a little uh, you take a little card. Yeah. It's like a little six by six card or three by six From card. Cardboard. You yeah. Stick it down to this thing and it spins. And then for buck at the carnival, you take a little, uh, little mustard and ketchup squirting container, except for that paint in it. You squirt it on it while it's spinning around. And then when it stops, it turns out it made some funky kind of cool orbital design. Sort of, sort of a, yeah, sort of modern arts. What spinning. would you do with it? You'd put it in your room and say, I made that. Yeah. Okay. I've That's, never heard of this. Never heard of it. No. She was playing, playing golf. You're on the you're on the links. Yeah. You're on the links. No, yeah. I never, I never went to a fair and saw that spin She's art. Too young for that. I never saw spin art, but Adam, I used Adam. to go to the Del Mar Things fair. And around. Yeah. Well, they, I bet if you go to the fair tomorrow, they'll have that spin art I stuff. Think so. They didn't get yeah. That's still around. I'm anyway, missing out. Point is, is if we could replace the paint with semen. <laughs> and the blank card with one of these bench warming cards, <laughs> or your favorite model, and then you display it with the black light. <laughs> now you got something. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. All right, buddy. I went to uh, bring the black light and the, uh, and the card in tomorrow, okay? All right. And it made that crazy noise. <laughs> Would you put the... <laughs> just a potter's wheel. <laughs> yeah, just whizzing around. <laughs> yeah, now the good thing is there is a shroud that goes around well, it. looks it, like a so cotton that... candy machine. It really yeah. doesn't look like. It's got the high plastic yeah. sort of bowl that the right. thing's inside of so the paint doesn't go flying around well, and get all over your slats. Yes, the paint. The paint, paint. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, we're going to replace that, and then we look at it with the woods light. <laughs> it's going to be great. True, seriously, 
this could really be just hey, look. I thought of it. Yeah, this yeah, is Drew's. Right. This is his statement. Branch out. Yeah. He, there's uh, Jesus in urine. Drew's got uh, jizz on the spin art. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah. John? I'll be proud of that always. Yeah, how's it going, guys? You're 19? Yeah, I am. What's All up? Right. Uh, well, I wanted to say that I called in uh, less than a week ago. I was the guy who was drinking a 12-pack a day. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just want to say that I cut down to about a 6-pack a day now. Fantastic. Have you heard of spin art? I have. I actually had one. Yeah. I now, bought see, one that was from Nickelodeon. He's, he's, thing nine, was. he's 19 years of age now. See, it's not an age thing. But is it only at the fair where this happened? It's at, like, piers. Fairs on the pier, would you say? And anywhere there's milk bottles to be knocked over with <laughs> <Yeah>. softballs, <laughs> right. there's spin art. Or the head band. Go ahead, John. So, right, John, well, uh, what I wanted to say is um, I had a panic attack today. Yeah. I Ooh. was, I, I remember Dr. Drew said, go ahead. Have you? Well, you're having alcohol withdrawal is the problem. And you need to, John. You need to get this medically managed. If you're starting to have panic and anxiety and tremulousness, this this is your brain withdrawing from the alcohol. And it'll get quite costly. How's that? Uh, <laughs> always buying the oh, booze buying every the booze. day. Well, oh, yeah. But he's alcoholic, and and the, it, it, going from six to zero is going to be actually kind of dangerous. Really? Yeah. Oh, from six to zero. Now going from a twelve pack a day to a six pack a day, not bad. You not just dangerous. get some symptoms. Yeah, like he's getting panic and anxiety. But, but now, problems. now you're talking about cold turkey. Now you're taking it all the way down, and people don't taper down from their drug of choice. They just don't do it. It just never works. So what do you suggest he does? You need to go, you need to get treated, John. You need to be seen by somebody who's addiction medicine certified and, or a psychiatrist. And there, there are medicines that can give you to prevent. Uh, listen, sixty percent of delirium DTs ends up in fatality. Really? Alcohol withdrawal is the only drug withdrawal that is commonly fatal. What? What? Oh my gosh! Yeah. What happens? They get they get a collapse of the autonomic function of the nervous system. Their pulse mm-hmm. goes out of control. Their respirations become dysfunctional. They get pneumonias and they they die. Really? So, yeah. You, usually, true DTs only emerges though when there's a second medical problem. Again, like an infection, pneumonia, heart attack. That kind true of thing. DTs or true deaths from DTs. True DTs usually, occur, you know, which, which is this this uncontrolled outflow from the central nervous system, which results in a cardiovascular collapse. Mm-hmm. Usually, is with a second medical problem. But you can get the DTs and not die, right? You can, but people just think of tremors and vomiting as DTs. That's just tremors and vomiting. Oh. DTs is this is fever and high pulse rate and low blood pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is he going to have to eventually have nothing? He can't just be the occasional no, pay a glass an, of wine he, at a... No, he's an alcoholic. I know that's hard for Lisa to get her head an It's tough for her. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, he's a glass of That's too bad. I really like a glass of wine. He's with an yeah, alcoholic. me too. Me too. Well, I'll be crashing at your pet tonight. <laughs> I'll be bringing that glass of wine. You are so not even going to know where I live. Oh, oh believe I, me, I can, I, guess, I can follow yeah. you. And I'm like an Indian. I put my head to the ground. I can yeah. find a hot chick. I'll drive really fast. Inspector Clouseau here. Yeah, I put my head down. Mm, many blondes travel many more this way. Mm, <laughs> Not a uh, Jay. Not a hey, uh, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, 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 yeah, nah. And then I, then I, I, I do that thing where I hold my hand up, and there's a bunch of guys behind me in the cars, and they stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I consult, oh, you know what really I mean? Work here and I way. reach down and I, and you know, I pick up like a uh, discarded Kleenex on the side of the road and I sniff it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. she traveled towards Sun and Miata. <laughs> <laughs> you pay much wampum for for squaw like this, and then we just keep going. Wait, we'll find you. We'll crash right in your house. Right. We, me, my my posse, your posse. my Indian posse. Oh, I see. All right, where are we, Drew? We're talking to Michelle. Mm-hmm. Well, Lisa was saying she gets uh, panic attacks on occasion. I did. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I think I had a panic attack. Mm-hmm. I had shortness of breath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've always got 20 things going on, mm-hmm. and I just felt a little anxiety going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're one of those overachiever uh, chicks, yeah? Yes. I guess yeah. so. Mm-hmm. You're like a pusher. You're going. I'm going. Yeah. And then, and, and you're, also, you're also one of these people that... Uh, needs to be uh, perceived a certain way and i don't mean that in a bad way but you you're you yeah you, you're together you smell good you look good there's a pressure to being you I mean, you gotta keep it together a lot you're a pleaser i didn't think of it like that oh well, yeah it's i think we speak of you need to be perfect yeah you need to be perfect nobody's perfect i, I know but yeah but you but try need to be, yeah. you gotta try yeah you put too much pressure on yourself to try. Well, then you don't need to say too much. You're putting, you're putting, actually, rejo- you know, you're sort of passing judgment when you say too much. Well, you put a lot of pressure if you try to be perfect. That's well, right. Well, who we th- I'm not talking to a third grader here, Drew. I'm talking to an adult woman. 
Hey, uh, listen, I'm telling you, I know well, people get got. defensive when you say, "All right, you're don't too get, this, you're don't too that. get defensive." I wish more women were like you, but I, I know, I know your makeup. You are a pleaser in the sense that you don't want people to perceive you as anywhere other than well put together and well uh, spoken and, and perfect, for lack of a better term. And it's a lot of pressure. See what I'm saying? Well, the alternative is not what... Yeah, see, what she's going to take from that is, well, who wouldn't want to be that perceived that way? Uh, you're saying. Yeah. But I don't agree with what you're saying. I'm not trying to be perfect. Not better than. Well, it's, not better than. It, the difference, the way, being perfect it, is not it, being better it than. It's being, I, put, I put a... Yeah, I'm a high achiever. Yeah, it's, it's, it's usually feeling less right. than. Than well, feel, hold on, I want to get right stuck on semantics right. here. See what I'm saying? Right. So, so she, we're getting through here. Thank right. you. Yeah. Well, you are. Yeah. Well, here's my point. And first off, uh, striving to be perfect, not a bad thing. It just puts a lot of pressure on yeah. you. Yeah. That's where you can have a panic attack. Right. That's all I'm saying. That's true. Okay, so that's what that was? It was yeah. in the middle of the day. Well, it ends up being a lot of work being you, if you think about it. I didn't mean that in a horrible way either, but I just mean once you, 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 you look this way and you present this way and people are used to seeing you, then it's like you can't have a bad day. You can't be in a bad mood. Oh, I have bad days. You, you can. I, you just can't do it in front of other people. You know I what I'm could, saying? Yeah. I think it, it's funny because the panic attack happened when, you know, everything's right. So I don't know uh -huh. why I had a panic attack. Yeah, why, Drew? Unless it, that's not what it was, but I think it was. Panic can occur. It's real hard to predict when a panic can occur. And they're usually out of the blue, and they're not necessarily in times when you're feeling blue or bad yeah. or anxious. They can just pow, occur. Yeah. I'm never really blue. I see. I'm a peppy there, girl. That's what we're talking about. Give yourself, uh, <laughs> give yourself the freedom to be a little blue every <laughs> once in a while. Have a, have a, take a me day. Put on some sweatpants. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's me. One, one of the things, one of the things that can happen if if you tend to be perfectionistic is that you can get so invested in Drew's that. that way too. I'm very much that way. You get so much invested in that part of yourself that your genuine needs get sort of not paid attention to so much, and that can lead to panic too. That's yeah. so you true. Get, you get depleted. That's what happened to Drew. And so you. Mm, yeah. That's true. Yeah, you put too, too much pressure. Mm -hmm. All right. But you're not aware of it because you're just busy. You're just moving along. You're just moving along. So moving I along. should just try the Adam way. Yeah. Go. Yeah. The opposite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, Adam listens to spin art, and he listens <laughs> to spin art. <laughs> and he's in jacuzzis by himself watching things float around. Mm -hmm. Well, they're coming to me, though. Remember that. <laughs> Michelle? Yeah? You're 18? Yes. What's up? Um, I have a question. I'm trying to get on the pill, and the doctor told me that when... I, but when I started my period next cycle to start taking the pill this Sunday after I started it, yeah. um, I just ended my period about last Saturday, Yeah. but I got it again this weekend. Um, I took the emergency contraceptive, which the morning after, the morning after pill a week ago. Yes, so that will screw your period all up. Oh, yes? Yes. Just get on the pill. Don't worry about it. Just get going. So that that business of... Starting the Sunday after your period and all that stuff, that's sort of an old-fashioned way of doing it. Just get going. Start taking the pill. Get going. Right, get going. Stop okay, talking when Drew's talking. Please just let him tell you what the, he's going to say. There's a growing sort of consensus so, so that I, people should start so the I pill when you right, put it in their hands. So that, go. Okay. Start the <laughs> pill. <laughs> yeah, the, your your <laughs> periods are all screwed up because of the morning after pill. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. Just give it that's time. It'll regulate, right? Glad, yes, glad you're uh, paying attention. All right, baby doll. There we go. Take that pill. Okay. All righty. It's a weird impulse to not let people finish their sentence. I keep thinking it's the phone or the something. Yeah, That's a little of that. But it's also a little nerves. People either don't talk yeah, or they talk nervous. too fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was nervous. That's all right. That's all right. You're not going to have a panic attack, are you? <laughs> no. You're feeling good, right? No, I'm feeling great. All right. Let's talk to... Uh, John, who's 20. John? How's it going? Good. Uh, I had a question for Dr. Drew. Yeah. Um, when I'm first with a girl, like, when we're having, you know, sex for the first time with a girl, like, I can go for a long time. Mm -hmm. But, like, as I get comfortable with a woman, it's, it's just not long anymore. That's because you know, you're not I, nervous. You're not nervous anymore. Yeah. So, but I mean, like, quick. 
like yeah. minutes. Right. And then, I, so I was wondering if that had anything to do with because like, I'm not circumcised. Nothing. No. Nothing. It's just you. I, I mean, so there's nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing. 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 Well, there's yeah, something you can do about it. Yeah. You can You can masturbate before you have sex. That I, kind of thing. I've heard yeah. that. Like, I, I do a while I'm having sex. I know you do. Yeah. But um, I've tried that. And that while you're running away. Yeah. While you're running away from the slick. That's right. Wait, what? You guys are yeah. like married. Go ahead, John. Um, I've tried that because I, I listened to you guys for a long time, about three or four years ago. I've heard that, and I've tried that. That doesn't work. I've tried to pull the foreskin up during the day. I've heard that. Um, mm. heard no, that forget, forget, l take your attention away from the circumcision. That has nothing to do with this. Yeah. Think about it. How could it be both? How could it cause you to be both prolonged initially and quick Well, later? he's not asking about the prolonged part. He's asking about the quick part. And, but, and but, he's maybe extra sensitive, and that's what does no, it. No, that's nothing to do with it. Oh, it no. could. Nothing to do with it. And well, first off, Drew, who's always right between me and you? Why isn't he extra oh. sensitive when he gets going with the, the first place? Well, those nerves are factors. Well. All so right, John. There's, there's not much I can do. Well, you can. St here's what you can do. You can stop focusing on your foreskin right. 100%. Yes. Take the mind off a, of that. Number one, because there's billions and billions of men who uh, aren't cut and who don't have this problem. Exactly. So that you can go ahead and rule out of the equation. The The next part is you can stop fretting about everything. That's what's doing it. Yeah. yeah. You just find yourself a girl, get comfortable with her. Maybe go start, twice with her. Go thing. twice. Give her that oral sex. Uh, that's do what's... That funny. Yeah, right, well, that's get what's... good at that. Believe me, you, well, the meter is running once you uh, get down there. You what? Take, well, I'm just saying, you, you take that two-minute session, you turn it into 22 minutes by going down on it for 20 minutes. See what I'm saying? It's like a cab. You, you hop in the cab. You, you think, oh, well, we're not driving anywhere. I'm just sitting in the cab. Oh, the meter's running. <laughs> yeah, the, the time, the, the sexual meter I'm is sure, running. I'm not sure Lisa's on board no, with this. No, Lisa's on board with this. <laughs> but I'm, here's what I'm saying. you got a guy that can only last two, three minutes. Okay, not a great thing. But... If he goes down on you and does a nice job for 20 minutes, then you can look at it as a 20-minute-plus session, basically, right. Right. as opposed to just a quick hit. And guy, guys don't do that. Guys want to add another minute and a half to the intercourse. We're saying, yeah, just get down there and do a, a fantastic job downstairs, and you, you will have a satisfied customer. Yes? I agree. You agree. You're a woman of passion, yes? You're here. Yes. That's right. Oh, you're getting that St. Polly girl outfit. <laughs> True, they wear the skirt with the with like the later hose and skirt yeah, yeah, on it, the big frilly thing. Yeah. Oh man! And I then, have it at home. You do can, you? You can wear I'm it. I'm crashing. Like. I'll be crashing. The knee high socks. Knee high socks. No, I didn't wear knee high socks. Oh, you didn't? It was just like a corset white. Corset, yeah. white a corset, red skirt. Slow down, yes. <laughs> you only wear it when you do the photo shoot. No, you don't. You wear it all the time. Watch, I'm going to close my eyes up. Yep, there you are. <laughs> You're in it. You never take it off. It's like it becomes like a, you know, a G.I. Joe's outfit or something. It's just his <laughs> outfit. And what'd you wear for socks? Just shoes? Just little black heels. No black heels. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, no. Maybe I'm it's thinking. It's an updated version. I may of be it. thinking of the Orange Boom girl or whoever that. <laughs> remember that beer, Drew? I've heard of Orange Boom, the yeah. Dutch beer. Yeah, I think she may have some knee socks. Anyway, we're going to implement knee socks into the outfit. <laughs> okay. Because it could work. It could be whatever you want it to All be. All right, that's right. Chris, you getting this? For your, for your spin <laughs> art collection tonight? Yeah. So, all right. Same poly girl. Oh, and a little puffy, uh, puffy shoulder things. With the, it did, it did have the elastic the on, on the shoulders. On the arm. On the, on the arms, right? And it was kind of off the shoulder. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's the puffy thing you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, go get the beer. German looking. Yeah. John? Yeah. You're 21? Yes, sir. Turn your radio down, please. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Is he a truck driver? What's he doing? What are you doing, John? Uh, drug driver. I'm on the road right now. Yeah. All right. Sounds like a nice, noisy piece of equipment he's driving. What is happening? Uh, 21? They let 20-year-olds drive trucks? I don't know. Uh, my girlfriend and I, when we have sex, uh, she uh, she slipped up uh, a couple times and said uh, she wishes my penis was a little bit longer, and which I do, too. Uh, I was wondering if there's a possibility, if there's something besides surgery that'll make my penis lar uh, longer because I haven't had surgery permanently. And All I'm right. wondering if smoking would actually help me. Sure. If I quit Smo smoking, what? If, it'll, if, it'll, if, I, if I quit smoking, 
if it'll uh, help the link. Mm, All right. No. All right. No. It never hurts to quit smoking, yeah, but that's not going to do anything to your penis. Well, it helps the blood supply, so it might help yeah. the tumescence. He's, he's 21. Yeah, he's, yeah, all right. Yeah. He's, you got need like another 20 pack here yeah. before it starts well, making a dent right. on the door. That's but true. here's the thing. Uh, weights. Oh, yeah. Weights will do something. We heard that from uh, Dr. Alter. Yes. How does that work? Well, stretching it out. You take a weight and you put it right on there, <laughs> and uh, eventually, you know, it starts heading down toward terra firma. Now I, I don't know, I don't know what it does for your erection, and also the uh, Dr. Alter, who is in the, the unfortunately named Dr. Alter, who was in here talking about who does the gender reassignment, uh, was talking to us about weights in conjunction with the ligament snip. Fair, yeah, yeah. No, well I think they Rip, cut it right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not a football injury, Drew. It's a, it's thing crazy people pay for. Uh, but they they snip the ligament down there. Then they essentially put the weight on it, and it, it starts to essentially pull it out. It's like taking a mailbox and pulling it out of the stick that's in the lawn with you know, just lifting it up a little bit. Uh, you can use some weights even without the cut. It's a stupid thing. But if you're going to be sitting in a truck for 14 hours a day. What's with the girlfriend? Uh, what's it? We don't know what he's in. It. I actually think that's kind of tacky of her to have said that because now he's got the issue about it. Oh, like really? Good. What's good. It? And you know <laughs> what? He good. should throw something right back at her. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her she's got hairy <laughs> nipples. <laughs> That'll freak her out. So smoking what's, will what? help me increase my weight. What is what? Smoking will. Oh, shut up. <laughs> that's BS. He, of course, is BS. He hung up on his ass. Smoking will help him increase his length. Alan? Yeah, hi. He's trying to help a trucker get a few extra inches on the dork, and this is how he repays you? That's nice. I'm disgusted <laughs> at all he is. Alan? Yes. You're 23. You're a virgin? Yes. Um, I have a uh, whitehead on my penis. Um, yeah. I'm curious as to whether or not it'd be safe to have sex with my girlfriend. I, uh, uh, I've popped it a bunch of times over the uh, say last two years. And it keeps keeps going back. back. I, I went and saw a doctor the other day. He didn't seem all that concerned about it. What is it? Did He's he calling it? it a whitehead. Yeah. What's that? Huh. And did he, did he take What's it What's a whitehead? I'm sorry? It's a, like, it's a recurrent pimple in the same spot? Yeah, pretty you much. Like a, it means like a pimple whitehead. What okay. do you mean What do you mean? pretty much? Is it exactly well, in the same spot? Well, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's in the same spot. But it, it wasn't there when I showed it to him. But I, I popped it last night while I was on the john, in the john. Yeah. Where, where exactly do they occur? Um, you know the, uh, I'm circumcised, so, I'm, uh, you know the, uh, the, the brown ring? Yeah. Just it's, below that. So it's towards yeah. the tip. Yeah. It's ring, ring around the collar, we call the that. Tip. The tip. It's right at the head there. Tip? No, is not, that a, a confusing? Head, no. Where is it? Towards um, the base? I'm going to say mid-shaft. 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 Yeah. Mid yeah, I mean, yeah hold, hold on a second. Do we have to get into the brown ring around the head discussion <laughs> if it's in the middle? It's like, uh, yeah, your car's dented. Uh, what part? Well, you know the front fender? Yeah. Well, this is the quarter pound. <laughs> <laughs> Just say the goddamn part. I know. You have to discuss all the other parts that it's not? If it's healed, Alan, you're oh, fine. Our call. I, 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 I don't can't understand. stand these yeah, people. It's healed, right? It's healed now? Yes. Well, I don't know. Alan, I'm, I'm, look, probably... look. Okay, Alan, listen to me. You're 23. You're a virgin, right? Right. This is just the kind of talking that's made you a virgin all these years. You got a girl stupid enough to agree to have sex with you now, right? Yeah. All right, then hey, shut up. I think it's great he called if I he's think concerned. It's, I think it's fantastic, too. Just be quiet and have sex, would you? <laughs> Put the condom on. Okay. Okay. All right. I, 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 is there any dumber people on the planet than the people that call this show? I, I, tonight. I would we found hit... It. Our, our callers against any other radio program, national or local, Tonight and their stupidity. Win. Tonight would win. They're confused by their own questions. <laughs> Pop your zit and get to humping. <laughs> would you screwball? You're 23. Let's go I now. Saw a doctor. Get a hand in. Break it break it, Lisa, get a hand in. Break All it right. down now. Listen, gentlemen, that helmet is not a chair. <laughs> and I use that term. Oh, let's see. Whatever. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Loosely, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> All right, we got Lisa Durgan is here tonight. She's got herself some bench warmer uh, training cards, trading cards. Chris gonna do a little spin art on those uh, a little bit later <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Lisa Durgan is here tonight. She's the uh, babe from the uh, Fox Sports Net. Yeah. Also, uh, she can be found as a correspondent on the Best Damn Sports Show, period. And uh, then has these new uh, trading cards out. They're uh, called uh, Bench Warmers. And uh, it's www.benchwarmer.com. You get a free one, you go there. Yeah? Yeah. I'll give Chris another pack <laughs> over there for a spin out. There you go. Spinner. It's great. He's so excited. It's yeah, great. he is. You know what's great about having uh, Chris over here? Makes 10 bucks an hour. It's like, it's like, it's really, it's like working with a catfish. <laughs> It just, uh, some guy sends us some crappy junk. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Someone sent us some uh, Flash Frozen uh, White like, Castle burgers yeah. the other day and a T-shirt that says, uh, you know, uh, Big Johnson uh, <laughs> pipe fitting equipment, the guy that's stupid. Hey, here you go, buddy. Uh, Is it more go. like a big lab or something? No, no, catfish. 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 It's just uh, whatever, you don't, you know, whatever comes out of you. That uh, what Your waste is his dinner. That's all I'm saying. And I don't mean that. I don't mean that in a bad way. Oh, it didn't come out that way at all. I'm just saying, no, here's the thing. You work at a radio station, you get a fair amount of junk sent to you. Yeah. I just don't have any more room for any more T-shirts uh, or uh, any more just to hear, try this, try, you know, try you know, try this inflatable that or this novelty this. People send you stuff. They, they're they well-intentioned for the most part, but it's just so much junk that just ends up, you know what it ends up? It never gets out of your car. Yeah. Ends up sliding around the trunk of your car for You're six one of those months, that never and takes stuff out. And eventually, right? well, you don't want to take it out of the car because you have no place to put you, it. You don't want to bring it into the house because it's inflatable sheep. Don't even <laughs> bring it in your car then. Uh, that's what I'm talking about with the catfish <laughs> over here. <laughs> take the inflatable sheep and the flash frozen Hand White off. Castle burgers. Here you go, buddy. That's right, and that's a big day for you, right? It's nice. Did you eat those White Castle burgers? Not yet. They're frozen. They're in your Wait car. They're still in your no, car. No, no, no. You brought they're them in? They're in the kitchen. Okay, good. Is this White Castle, like, mm -hmm. an Not East Coast, Coast thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an East Coast thing. Yeah. I don't know about it. I'm That's from right. San Diego. Right, right. Well, I'm they in didn't New have... York at a party, and there was all these White Castle little mini burgers. Yeah. Right. And... White Castle and spin art. I evidently, the two things that did not make it out <laughs> to San Diego. They don't have... I'm sheltered. Maybe. They don't have in and out Yeah. Yeah, so. we've got that. There yeah, go. we got that. And uh, I would say we now. Now, here's the thing about here. And here, here by the way, the thing about these regional foods because I, I work in an office filled with guys from everywhere but California who right. love to argue about nothing the yeah. entire day, and you always get in this, these arguments over who has the better burger and who's this and that. A lot of this stuff is just the one you enjoyed with your dad when you were nine. Right. It, it gets burned in just like some song that you think is great or some chick you think is hot just because it's from. That, uh, that 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 initial sort of, impression. That initial impression. Yes, I think when you just sort of break it down, though, I would say the In and Out Burger. Yeah, get a hand and break it down. I'd say In and I'd say the In and Out Burger probably superior to uh, most oh. burgers around the country. I and, understand and, how it could get better. And I didn't try it when I was nine. I didn't yeah. try it till I was in my twenties. I don't 20s. see how it get better. I like Thank the French you. fries. Yeah. Good fries too. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, always feel like I'm getting chipped over there because I don't know the language. It's hard to make an order. Because some guy in front of you has ordered the 4x4 uh, four yeah. four Manimal, yeah. and you just ordered the regular one, and you feel like he knows something you don't yeah. know, but uh -huh. I can't figure out what he knows. <laughs> All right. Lauren? Yes. You're 18? Yes. What's happening? Okay. Um, I just recently had um, my son. He's five months old. and um, Congratulations, baby. Yeah, 18. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And um, after that, I've gotten birth control and mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. yeah. the shot. And mm -hmm. I was wondering if it was any cause to not wanting to be intimate with my boyfriend. Not well, me. just having had a child can turn your libido down quite a bit. But I'll tell you what, that shot, the Depo Provera shot, will shut some, some women down completely. Okay, mm -hmm. see, that's yeah. exactly how I feel. Mm -hmm. What is that shot? What it's, is it's progesterone, and it, it's a birth control shot. It's a three month shot. You basically bleed continuously for the first three months, then mm. you lose yeah. your period after. Can we that. agree not to use the term bleed? Have you slough? 
What did I say? Sloth. <laughs> say sloth. Uh, now go ahead and start again. And uh, start again. <laughs> Lisa just did one of those. <laughs> Start from the top, Jerome. Yeah, the, 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 it's a progesterone, and so you get sloughing for three months. Well, just say you slough. You Let's try it again. Let's take it from the top. It's progesterone and, agent. Hold on. And action. Progesterone time. agent makes you slough for three months, and then you'd have no period after that. It's effective <laughs> for three months, and kids don't need to take it over and over again. They don't need to remember to take a pill, and so it's a very effective birth control. Mm -hmm. But it has a lot of side effects for some women, interestingly. They get depressed, get energy problems. And they lose their libido. They can is, really shut down. Is this boyfriend the same? Sound great well, not, but some women actually it enhances their libido. It's, it's that's the craziness about women is that for us as men anyway, it's, it's such a, a uh, tremendous spectrum of biological responses. It's a Everybody's role different. of the vagina, as yeah. we like to say, yeah. of the business. ovaries, of the ovaries. You roll in those ovaries. Hey, uh, Lauren. Yes. Uh, is this uh, boyfriend of yours, same guy who's the father of your child? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah it's quaint. It's it's very unusual. quaint. Yes. The whole five months he's hung out. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's he do? Um, he goes to school just like me, but um, I work, so I work mm -hmm. and go to school. Actually, I um, home study, so. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, way out on a limb here and go junior college. <laughs> How dare you? Yes? High school. All right. That high school? Yeah. You, you guys going to junior college or high school? No, I'm a, I'm a senior, actually. High school. High school. What about him? He's same with him. Oh, he's, you're both in high school? Yeah. Well, All right. Well, listen. Forget about junior college. I know you're thinking about it now. <laughs> Don't worry about junior college. You worry about me and a mom. He should worry about uh, getting getting some work. Yeah. Yeah? Now, here's what he can do. He can do some sort of vocational thing where he learns how to do underwater welding or something for <laughs> <Yeah>. eight months. <laughs> but then he gets busy right after that. Gets some sort of degree, some sort of certificate. And then, pow. This is this is what everybody who isn't going to a regular college needs to do. They need to learn like com computer. They they could they could be an ambulance driver. They could learn uh, typewriter repair, whatever. Whatever. Learn something takes about six months, and then pow, start working. <laughs> and by the way, you can do okay with this stuff. You learn how to weld. You get in a union gig, whatever. Next thing you know, you're getting thirty-seven bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mike. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, this question is for Dr. Drew. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering, I've heard you talk about um, sex addicts before. Uh -huh. And uh, just like when I heard you talk about it, like, I'm really addicted to, um, like, phone sex and cyber sex and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I was wondering mm -hmm. if there, like, if that was a, you know, like, a characteristic or, you know, a of addiction? Policy. Yeah, I mean, cyber, you know, the uh, whole idea of Internet Mm. Porn addiction is, uh, is a growing area of expression of sexual addiction. There's and literally. Do you have any idea where that can come from? Or well, if sexual addiction in general, if if first of all you want to predict, you want to hold on. Have what? that diagnosis. You want to have a family history of alcohol. What seventeen-year-old isn't going to get yeah, addicted? Yeah, I, I know that's the, the internet. Internet. I know. Yeah. Do you have any addiction in your family? Alcoholism? Um, no. The the only thing that I could ever think of was, I mean, and probably not even a big deal. It's just like when I was like three. Uh, three or four, like, I just had, like, a girl next door, and, like, we used to pretend we were married and, like, did, you know, stupid, like, you know, like, you know, the yeah. marriage game. Oh, we've all did. But not, yeah. no, I beg your pardon, Lisa. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> it, 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 but no intercourse, anything like no, no, that. No, 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 nothing. No. no. Yeah, nothing directed sexually. No, that's right, right. anal. But look, you, you may just be a seventeen-year-old who <laughs> just yeah, has a, basically not, a crack pipe sitting in his in his bedroom, which right. is the, well, the internet. I, I mean, uh, uh, Drew. Imagine uh, when we were 17. Imagine sixteen, seventeen years old, a magical box it's in your room. It's in your room, and this is a porthole to the world. It's like, hey, uh, you know that uh, Alyssa Milano? You see her on that TV show? Want to see her topless? Yeah. What do I? What do I got to do? Climb uh, Mount Kilimanjaro? Yeah. No, no. It's right here in the box. <laughs> I just type her name in. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Paris Hilton. You seen that show? Is she? Uh huh. Yeah. She's giving oral to this dude. Really? How do I? What, 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 I take, what do I take? I uh, take rough cut diamonds and drag them to in Indonesia? No, that's no, right in the box. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, there she is. Like, like if someone could bring you back, if someone built a time machine and just brought you that. You'd be, oh, oh my God! <laughs> and, and like, you got a question? You got term paper coming up, right? Yeah. You got a question about something? You go to the library, right? No, no, no. It's in the box. You go to the library, flip through the what cards. Do you do? What do you do? No, no. Read the book. No, letter. what are you doing? to turn paper on. Uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, interesting. Mount Kilimanjaro, there you go. 
It's printing. It's printing your pay. It's printing your term page. Oh my God. You got to type your name in, though. Where's Where's Lisa Milano? Knock <laughs> it back there. Yeah, that's it. What are you into? You into big jugs? You into black chicks? Black and white? Like anal? Big, big dongs? Stump porn? What are you into? What do you like? I'll just type, I'll just type right in. Give the main word. Here's a button on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Here's a magic button. You'd, you'd be guard. First, you'd be up all night with a pistol. Like, just sitting in front of it, like a sweating, like a whip and a pistol. Like, anyway, someone's got to try to get this box away from me. I won't let him do it. What? What? You would go nuts. Your head would just crack open. You'd explode. You just, you'd, 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 your head would explode. You sound bitter. <laughs> head would explode. We missed it. it. We missed it, yeah. Oh, I had my raft box. <clears throat> and, and the St. Pauli girl cut out. There you go. Yeah. 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 So Good the, times. The, the, the point is, is what... <laughs> What's what would wouldn't you be, be doing? Yeah. yeah. What... 17 year old guy would not it, it almost it, not it suggests it. Really, when you really think about it it suggests a new sort of imperative in parenting help 17 year old males contain themselves yes because they Stop can't, they can't do it on their I own yeah. again. <laughs> it's true what I, I can't especially now here's the other thing too yeah. you're going to be able to <sighs> navigate every kid Who's you know born uh, you know after uh, 1990 is going to be able to navigate the computer yeah, no like problem. you know a, a technician of years ago just okay. I mean type in 70 words a minute and stuff they can find anything they want so whatever whatever it is if they can't find a picture of their favorite star naked they'll build one right. on the computer right. I I don't know how you're going to get and and if you think about you know, when you were 15 or 16 and through, and, and the crazy, uh, you know, the, the testosterone kicking in, the hormones kicking right, in. Please. What, what, how, how do you get yourself away from the computer? No? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. is this going to do? Desensitize everybody? I, I'm not... I think it might charge them up. I, I think it might uh, heat things up a bit. And yeah, then it looks, the... Mike's a great, we, we should sort of poke at Mike a little bit and see what this, this maybe a new breed. Mike? Yeah. So you got a time machine? So, <laughs> I'm confused now. so you had no sexual abuse and no addiction to the family, right? No. So that that sort of mitigates it, against it. Is makes it, it unlikely? Is a computer you're in your room? Uh, you no, know, we just have a computer room, and I and I usually do it. You know, like when my parents are home or whatever. I right. hope so. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Hey, sure. Do you do it in the middle of the night, or do you just do it during the day when they're at work? Um, both. Yeah. All right, and you sneak in, and hey, you see, here's the thing: oh. if, if if you have He's a computer. You put the computer in the middle of the living room. You, you have a spotlight on it. You put it inside a shark cage. <laughs> and uh, don't matter. You just have kid will dig under the house oh, yeah. and come up through the bottom, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. I'm it's angry. Nutty. I don't know why I'm angry. So no, he's worried? He What's his question? He thinks he, he's doing too much of this and that it's you know he's getting out of control. He may be. He sounds compulsed about it. That's for sure. But we're we're sort of exploring whether or not that what's a well. Here's be compulsed. here's the only thing. Here's the only thing I think is going to save a, a teenage boy is a a girlfriend. Yeah. That's going to cut into it. Yeah. Yeah. B. Uh, a social life, lots right. of friends, lots of activities, and, and some some break it, just like you would a, an eating habit or something. You know, it's it's any little compulsion. Uh, you got to stop. It's hard. Let me tell you the number of times I've uh, said to myself, "No beating off," <laughs> and the times I've actually not beat off after making the proclamation of no beating <laughs> off. Is like the shame you feel after you actually do. I'm disgusted yeah, at myself. It's disgusting. Not just myself. It, it is the disgusting. world. But yeah, do you think that disgusting. going back to the sky? Do you think yeah. that affects his relationships? He doesn't have any. That's the he's thing. busy. He's seventeen. Okay. He's busy, you know, taking the wind out of his own sail. Uh, here's what I'm saying. He's got to first off. <laughs> he's got to work on. He's got to get something. Yeah. He's got to get a girl, and he's got to get activities. He's got to yeah. get a sport. He's got to get a hobby. Yeah. He's got to get golf. That's what you he needs. You've got to get golf. You, six hours I'm out sure there chasing a ball around. Break this one. <laughs> All right, we're uh, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's uh, Dr. Drew. Drew just scalded me with uh, steaming hot water. Wait a minute. Do you scalded me or scalded, scalded. me? Scalded. Yeah, scalded Scolding me. is what you always do to me. Yeah. <laughs> you scalded me, Drew. <laughs> By the way, did you have that in the microwave? No. Oh, really? Just out of the out of the, the uh, uh, hot tamp dispenser, thing? Yeah. Wow. The thing was hot. Anyway, Drew's a, Drew's a clumsy man. He's a man of exquisite passion, but yet clumsy. So I could imagine. You just come to terms with that. You just, you just, oh, yeah. No, I know. I just imagine the ladies. Here's a man who's, you know, highly motivated, yet clumsy. That could, you know, 
He could break some hearts, some hymen, some furniture in the bedroom. But that's yeah. endearing. Guys oh, like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Lisa Durgan, big fan of uh, Dr. True over there. She's a woman of passion herself, yes? Thank you. And here, Chris has uh, got some paper towels. Hold on a second. Uh, Chris, you may take one of those paper towels for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long ride home with those trading cards. Long ride. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why ruin the nice velour interior in the uh, Ranger? Oh, yes. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. You need to give him something to collect for his spin art. <laughs> Forget the paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lisa Durgan here tonight. I'm going to go visit his brother tomorrow. www.benchwarmer.com. Engineer Chris's brother uh, works at a uh, Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks hospital box somewhere around. Well, it's within a 40-mile radius of where Drew works. Drew thinks he can get uh, save a nickel on a medium no, so uh, far, cup no. of Java. So no, far, no. no go, but he's going back again. <laughs> yeah. Have maybe, your brother. Maybe he'll cut out like ten cents off. Yeah, have your br- have your brother float uh, Drew a break over there. How, about, how many times we got to mention the place on the air before he gives you a cup of joe? Exactly. All right. Let's. Um, I had a weird thing uh, happen to me. What happened? I was. Uh, I went to uh, the coffee bean place uh, down yeah. the street from uh, Kimmel's. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> We go there. All the riders uh, go there uh, after the uh, lunch meeting every day. Get a cup of coffee, and I always pay. And uh, I ha- had a guy who never pays who was with me who uh, wanted to get his card stamped. And I don't have a card. Drew, what are you doing? What are you doing there, Chris? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> was, was getting it a little... Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. All right, Drew. What's uh, wrong I'm with sorry. you? What's wrong with you? Uh, you? You had to see what I saw. I was trying to get your I attention. I saw it, too. Well, so. the guy's got a boner. I know. <laughs> He's trying to sit down with a boner. <laughs> I understand. It's not easy. I understand. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. You're at the coffee. Oh bag. yeah. So they stamp the card. I don't have the card. That's low rent. You right, know that right. card where you go, you yes. get ten of them, you get one free. Yes. But uh, the guy I did buy the coffee for had the card. He wanted to get his card stamped, even though I bought him the coffee. Yeah. I told him no. Uh, you know what I mean? You're a prick. That's a power move, right? No. <laughs> and he was like, they were like, well, we'll stamp any card because yeah. you guys you just bought five coffees. You're but I don't have a card. You're being well, an he wants his card. I was being an a hole. Yeah. But it's a nice <laughs> move. Yeah. And he was like, "Well, why don't you why don't you just stamp?" I said, "No, nah, I don't don't stamp his card. There'll be no stamping." Yeah. So you're I don't calling have, your friend low rent. Yeah, I don't have a card to stamp. But right. I just don't want. That's my move. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a power move. Does that turn you on, Lisa? No, that wouldn't turn me on. I thought so. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> Claudia, twenty-two. Claudia. Yeah. <laughs> There you are. What's or up? A man was so powerful he could buy three medium <laughs> coffees and then not get his buddy's card stamped. That, that that kind of power, that kind of flagrant power, doesn't turn you on. It's not enough. Wow, oh. Lottie, you have, to, you have to buy like ten coffees. <laughs> yeah, Claudia. Yes. You're 22. No one's named Claudia anymore. Did you notice yeah, that? I didn't notice that. What happened to Claudia? It's a pretty name. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Guess go ahead. The last one. So my question is, um, I like rough sex. Sure. And I also mean kind of like role playing, you know, like a little bit of bondage, nothing mm-hmm. too severe, and it's with mm-hmm. someone that I trust very much. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but I'm concerned about the activity just because I'm surprised that it, it's, I'm so drawn to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what's your question? Do you have a safe word when you guys get rough? A safe word? Um, we've never gotten rough enough that that's really been necessary. All right. Um, I, I know sh- what you mean. All right. I don't I've, know what you mean. What does that mean? Safe word? When it safe gets word? a little too far. Later when I crash into your house. <laughs> right. I was explaining it. I think to, that... Um, yeah. All right, hold on. I can explain this. Uh, safe word... I think I get it, but... Well, it's all right. Let's say if you're into the uh, rough trade, you know, like a little bondage. This is bondage, the S&M thing going on. A little on. S&M all going right. on. We get a little role playing, you know. I give a little tug of the hair, <laughs> how much you love it. Talk about the spinner, <laughs> and I, I give it a tough talk. I'm like, "Those crappy trading cards, no gum." <laughs> what were you thinking, bitch? Shh, don't talk. All is your holding I'm the hair. Grab, I'm don't, grabbing don't your Don't look hair. at me. Don't, don't look, look at me. me. Don't look. Don't look at me. That's what it's gonna sound like when we get it on. Is that you? <laughs> David, on, David, on, David on Greer doing an Adam impersonation. Yeah, that's what it's going to be like. 
<laughs> and at one point, I the get safe tired word when I'm gets said, and it all goes back to it, "Hi, honey." If it if it gets if it gets out of hand, we got a uh, we got a safe word. You see, and okay. I hear that safe word, and uh, you know, I know to stop. Like for us, it'd be uh, my boyfriend's home. That'd be our <laughs> safe word. All right, okay. I hear that. I pull right out. Yes, true. Yes. All right. I just remember the, the I hate your mother story. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but um, like I said, that's not really the issue that I'm calling about. I'm just concerned that that's what I'm drawn to because the behavior itself is something that has so mm -hmm. much stigma attached to it. All right. Well, well there's any stigma attached to it. It's just a that little it, bit. It, it can mean things. And if yeah. you need high levels of arousal in order to feel sexual, it can mean that the parts of your brain that sort of normally become aroused have been let's call it burned out or changed as a result of high levels of maybe abuse or even deprivation in childhood. Mm -hmm. And so these are ways that those things happen. If you're just into this as sort of a, of a style, something you kind of just enjoy, that's fine. But if you need it to function sexually, then it means something. Uh, so what should she you know, do? I'm curious. I'm curious about what you said. What do you mean by deprivation in terms of childhood? Well, if you were abandoned and neglected, that sort of thing. Wow, see, that that could strike a clue, and that's why I've always been curious, because there's no sexual trauma, and that's often what people attribute to sort of... No, there, there's, there, it's different forms of abuse physical, get you there. Yeah. Uh, deprivation, so you were left alone. Or abandoned, I mean, not that. All right, yeah. yeah. Latchkey kid, we used to call him back uh, when the they were day. making movies of the week about that sort of nonsense. All right, baby, how about a little therapy, everybody? Could be. All right, we'll take a quick Good break. Things. We'll be right back. Well, that's a show, everybody. I want to thank Lisa Durgan for coming in here. Always a delight. It's always great seeing you guys. And a good sport. Always a good you sport. You guys are like the married couple, I swear. Thanks. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> this week, I get to be the dude. No way. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's an odd... Oh, no. I yeah. caught last week. Oh. We got to work this out. Yeah, we got to have... Our, what's our safe word? <laughs> F you. True safe word is I'm hungry. <laughs> We go, out, we go out to Noggles at 4 a.m. Lisa Durgan, everybody, www.benchwarmer.com. Get these cards and uh, get the collector series with no gum. They're going to no be gum. worth something one day. Absolutely. Chris, you bring the spin art back tomorrow. And until next time, this is Adam Crowley for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Good night. This has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Anne Engold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.